friend. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George and Susie Sheep to visit Tinyland. Daddy, what is Tinyland? It's a world just like the real world, Peppa, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real, with real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go... Hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go... Ah, giants! <laughs> I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <gasps> but we're going to Tinyland today. Oh, I love Tinyland. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr Bull. Thank you. Stop! Will you let them through? They are going to Tinyland. That's important. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Ooh, look at that! This is the land of water. Ooh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha ha! Ha ha! What was that? Dinosaur. This is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Ah! Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ah! Ooh. And over there is a Triceratops. Ah! <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. Ah! Oh look, they are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. Full steam ahead! <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train went on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees. And trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24-hour non-stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Going to the zoo. <laughs> bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, boom. We're all going to the zoo. <laughs> Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, yes Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting 
wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes. That's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? Oh, wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. <laughs> ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello. I'm Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies. Mr. Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo-choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away, in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! 
This is the train station. Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Peppa. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds! <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig. The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, ba da 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 da. Boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails, it can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the train journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are doing nursery rhymes. Ooh! Who has a favourite nursery rhyme? My favourite is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Oh, yes! Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. One. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Peppa. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. <gasps> I don't like that one. 
It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <coughs> hey do 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 the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. Mm. The little dog loved to see such fun. <laughs> and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons? And cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the poor little fish was frightened. It was kind to throw it back. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? I like Robin Hood. OK. And does Robin Hood have a rhyme? Yes. Robin Hood lived in a wood. He was very good at jumping in mud. <laughs> very good, Pedro. I made it up myself. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme about marching. <coughs> we have to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill when he marched them down again. And when they're Good exercise. Madam Gazelle, do you have a favourite nursery rhyme? But of course, Pedro. Would you all like to sing it with me? Yes, please. Everybody, hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of roses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. <laughs> Peppa loves nursery rhymes. Everybody loves nursery rhymes. Sailing boat. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. They are members of the sailing club. Hello. We're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes, the tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, bobbing, bobbing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha <laughs> ha, right you are. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes. Then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong. No, no, of course not. Uh, I just... We're uh... stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> the boat has two little bunk beds. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night, night, Grandpa. <laughs> Night, night, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. The stars are twinkling in the sky above. It is morning. We're bobbing up and down. <laughs> Look, children, the water is back. Hooray! Grandpa Pig's boat is floating again. Time to sail home. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> the boat bobs up and down. <laughs> Granny Pig has come to meet Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Thank you. Hello, my little ones. Did you have a nice time? Yes! We got stuck in the mud and had a sleepover. <laughs> Pepper <laughs> loves sailing. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> loves sailing. <laughs> Today, Mr. Potato has come to Peppa's playgroup. Children, Mr. Potato is here to talk to you today about eating fruit and vegetables. Oh! I am going to show you a movie called Super Potato. Yay! Super Potato! Wow! Oh, my hat is blown off. Help me, Super Potato! Power of vegetables! I am here! Aha! Thank you, Super Potato! Remember, kids, always eat your five a day! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And now we have a very special guest! Can you guess who it is? It's not my daddy, is it? No. It's not my daddy, is it? No, it is nobody's daddy. Is it my mummy, then? No, it is no relation of anyone here. The special guest coming to see you today is... Super Potato is coming. Hooray! But before he does, we must call him... <clears throat> Super Potato! Super Potato! Very good. I'll just go and see if he is outside. Keep shouting. Super Potato! Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Wonderful! Now, who has a question they would like to ask Super Potato? Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything! What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty! Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh, 
Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh, always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes! He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave Mr. Potato goodbye. Oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. Ah! I cannot get out. Mr. Potato is stuck. Help! Let me out. What shall we do? Help! Call help. for Super Potato. Let me out. Super, Super Potato! Super I potato. think he might be Super too potato. busy to come. No, really? Really? Super I do potato. not think that will work this time. No, Madam Gazelle. You just need to shout out with us. Okay. Help us, Super, Super potato. potato! There, it didn't work. Now I think we What's need to... What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Super Potato has come to the rescue. Using my super vegetable vision, I can see that my friend here is in trouble. Yes, you have to get him out. I will use my fruity strength to lift this roof off. Super Potato has rescued Mr. Potato. Hooray! And remember, kids, when trouble calls... Eat your fruit and vegetables! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Seven! Always remember to eat your seven. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Captain Dog's birthday. Happy birthday, Captain Dog! Thank you, everyone. Daddy, you look sad. Oh, it's nothing, son. Just seeing this here boat reminded me how much I miss the sea. Captain Dog loves the sea. Why not open your birthday present? It's a boat trip. A boat trip? That's just what I wanted. Let's go! <laughs> There's nothing better than sailing a boat. You could go anywhere you want in a sailing boat. We could head for the tropics or have an Arctic adventure. We might even see a whale. <laughs> it's just a day trip, dear. This is the canal. Now, where's the sailing boat? We're going on this canal boat. I see. We use the canal boat to get to the sailing boat. No, dear. We're going on this boat for your birthday and we're sailing it down the canal. But on a canal, you can only go this way and that way. It'll be fun. Come on, Dad. It is a boat. Yes, Danny, you're right. A boat on the water. All aboard. Oh, I wanted to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on, then. All aboard! Raise the sail! Oh, where is the sail? Canal boats do not have sails. You just push this button to make the boat go. Ah, thank you, Mummy Dog. <laughs> and we're away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Duck is going faster than our boat. Want a race, do you, Mrs. Duck? <laughs> Full steam ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't this thing go any faster? No, this is the top speed. Oh. Anyway, you want to slow down. We're coming to a mountain. Ah! Look out! There's a mountain! in front. We're going to crash straight into it. No, we're going into the tunnel. There is a tunnel through the mountain. It's all gone dark. And our voices sound funny. <laughs> we 
sailed straight through the middle of a mountain. Ha <laughs> ha! This canal boat is actually quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here comes another mountain. And that means another tunnel. Not this time. Oh, there's no tunnel. So what do we do? We're going uphill. There's no way in the world a boat can go uphill. There is, and it's called a lock. Watch, I'll show you. Mummy Dog is opening the gates to the lock. Take her in, Captain. Just wait there while I close these lock gates. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm letting in the water from the top. We're going up. The rising water is lifting the canal boat up. Now I open these gates. Take her out, Captain. Full steam ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Where's the ground car? We're in the sky. We're sailing over a bridge. Yes, this bridge means we can sail high above the valley below. Ha <laughs> ha! Sailing across the sky. What could be a better adventure? <laughs> <laughs> sailing across the sky in a boat so high, floating on the water, sailing across the sky. <laughs> Have you had a fun time, Daddy? I should say so. I've sailed through mountains, over hills, and across the sky. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. Captain Dog loves canal boats. Everyone loves canal boats. The Outback. Pepper has come to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. Do you think we should have told them we were coming? Hello, Mr Kangaroo. Oh, Mr Pig, what a surprise. You did say if we were ever passing, we should visit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Kylie, look who's just dropped by. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Kylie. <coughs> Hello, George. Remember my little brother, Joey? <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr. Grrr, crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going for a picnic. Do you want to come along? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> the kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow! You have a plane. Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day Going to a picnic a long, long way away Going to the Outback on a sunny day Flying to the Outback a long, long way away <laughs> <laughs> I love the Outback! Um, what is the Outback? We're flying over it now! Oh, it looks like a desert! It kind of is. But the Outback is also a special, magical place for us. Ooh. Here is our picnic spot. With our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the Outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. Oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? 
We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. It's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. <laughs> OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <laughs> Peppa and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Move to music. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Children, today you will use your imaginations to move to music. Ooh. What does this music make you think of? It makes me think of a piano. Okay. It makes me think of music. Right. Use your imaginations. What pictures did the music make you think of? It makes me think of a cherry tree swaying in the wind on top of a beautiful mountain. Wonderful, Rebecca. So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree, rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountain tops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro? Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny? It reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Oh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Beep, beep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. Tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, 
Can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? I know, I know. This music makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs> Follow me, everyone. <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Swish, splash, splash, swish, splash. Peppa loves moving to music. Everyone loves moving to music. <laughs> Easter Bunny. Peppa and her friends have come to Rebecca Rabbit's house for an Easter egg hunt. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, everyone. Are you looking forward to the egg hunt? Yes. Ready, steady, go. Wait, stop, stop. What? You can't start. The Easter Bunny hasn't been to hide the eggs yet. Oh. When is the Easter Bunny getting here? Very soon. Good. We'll wait. Uh, but the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if you're looking. OK, we'll close our eyes. <laughs> no peeking. I can hear something. It's the Easter Bunny. No, it's not. It's just my daddy. Here is Mr Rabbit. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? We've come for the Easter egg hunt. Oh. I hope the Easter Bunny will come soon, Mr Rabbit. Oh, yes, me too. I uh, must just go and check my carrot patch. This is Mr Rabbit's carrot patch. Remember, children, the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if we're looking. Let's wait indoors. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit's house is underground. <laughs> Rebecca, have you ever seen the Easter Bunny? No, but the Easter Bunny is a rabbit. Yes. And you are a rabbit. Yes. What does it look like? <laughs> I think it looks like me, but a bit bigger. I think the Easter Bunny has a rocket pack. <laughs> yes, it's a super bunny. I think the Easter Bunny has a magic fairy wand. I think the Easter Bunny must be very big to carry all those eggs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Easter Bunny is invisible. What? Invisible means you can't see it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, uh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes. I would say so. <laughs> right. Are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? It's the Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> 
That is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh, we thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. I've a fluffy tail and bouncy legs. I like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> <laughs> we are little bunnies and we...